Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Beauty Beacons. Today we are going to talk about Theta Bara. Theodosia Goodman, better known under her stage name Theta Bara, was a film and stage actress in the late 1910s and early 1920s. Uh, she was a silent film actress and one of the first cinematic sex symbols that we have. She often wore very revealing outfits in her movies and she was typecast very much as the typical kind of femme fatale, uh, vampy type of woman. In fact, she is often referred to as the original vamp. She often played these kind of evil, very mysterious, kind of creepy almost women. Um, and that was very much her thing. And Thea Barr is also one of the first examples of a kind of really good PR effort that was behind her. So in the time, it was very popular to make actresses seem exotic. It was just more attractive to the audience to know that the actress herself was interesting as well. So they created a backstory for Theta that she was a descendant of some kind of like European royal mixed with some Arab blood in there. Um, none of that was true, but they had her uh, talk about kind of like spiritual stuff in interviews as well, to all, all to kind of enforce this exotic image that she had. And she also often appears in photos in a very elaborate, exotic dress. And it just made her extra interesting as an actress. And she was hugely popular. Many of her films became great successes and she earned a gold star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So being one of the biggest stars of the 1910s, I think we can say that Theodore Barrow is definitely a beauty beacon. So today I'm going to try to recreate her iconic look. Now, Theta has these very iconic eyes. Her eyes are so large and... She has that very 20s look about her, that kind of melancholy um, facial expression. And I feel like on the one hand, her face is naturally already like that, but of course she enhances that with uh, makeup as well. Let's begin with the makeup. I'm going to start by applying a layer of foundation to even out my skin tone, and I'm going to go over my dark circles with a little bit of concealer to smooth out any dark circles that I may have. And when everything is blended in, I'm going to go over with a layer of powder to mattify my face and make sure my makeup stays on all day. So then I'm moving straight on to the eyebrows. Now I'm going to take a color that is quite dark but similar to my eyebrow color, maybe just a shade darker. And I'm going to use this to extend my eyebrow. And I'm going to make it quite long and a little bit fuller on that outward tail as well. Theta in movies often wears this very heavy 1910s uh, stage makeup, which is very prominent, super dark. All the facial features, kind of like the important facial features were very highlighted. So she often has very strong black eyebrows. I'm not going to go that far, I'm going to keep it a little bit more natural, but I am going to try to accentuate that shape by elongating my eyebrow downwards. Uh, we're already moving towards the kind of 20s eyebrow that's kind of always in that surprise sad expression. So yeah, we're slowly getting there. So I'm just drawing in my eyebrows in this shape. And then it's time to move on to the eyeshadow. So I'm going to take a dark brown eyeshadow, which I'm going to be mixing with a little bit of black later on. So I'm just going to use those two colors to create color gradations on my eyelid. And I am going to cover my entire eyelid in this. And I'm going to make sure to create a kind of droopy eye shape. So I'm going to apply this eyeshadow more high up on the inner corner and then on the outer corner I'm actually going to extend it down past my eye. Everything to create that kind of sad droopy eye look. So I'm also going to apply a really heavy layer of eyeshadow underneath my eye and this is really going to give it that iconic Theta Bara look. She always kind of looks like she's looking up and this really helps kind of accentuate that look so you really want to go heavy on the lower lid eyeshadow. So a little bit of mascara will finish off this look, just be sure not to brush your lashes up. But uh, actually, if you brush them down, the look will be more kind of authentic. So next up are the lips. Now, Theta Barra again has this perfect kind of early 20s lip shape, where the lips are really tiny, small, almost doll-like. So I'm going to start by applying a lip liner to my lips first, and I'm going to draw a very high heart-shaped cupid's bow and then drawing my lips a little bit thinner than they naturally are. And I'm also going to draw my bottom lip a little bit thinner than my natural lip. And then I'm going to fill this in with quite a dark red lipstick. Now, I'm gonna go really dark because in movies, again, it looks like Tita's wearing almost black lipstick, which means that the color she would have worn would have been probably pretty dark. So when that was done, I decided to go back to the eyes just for a little bit and apply some white eyeliner on my lower lash line. Again, to kind of imitate that looking up kind of low lower lid look. 
Let's see the hands. And there's the makeup all done. So now let's move on to the hair. Now, of course, you have your kind of earlier Theta Barra hair and then your more kind of typical 20s shorter hair look, but I'm gonna go for long hair, personal preference. So you can often see her in photos and also in films with this very long, beautiful, gorgeous hair. Gorgeous! <laughs> in these kind of very relaxed curls, as if she curled her hair like two days ago and now it's just kind of sitting there. So I'm going to try and imitate that look, but bear in mind that this is, is actually going to look better on kind of second or third day hair after you have curled it. It's pretty hard to achieve uh, with fresh curls, but I'm gonna try my best. Now I am going to apply some hair extensions because Theta has beautiful hip length or even longer hair and I don't, so <laughs> I need some help here in this department. So when I have applied my extensions, I'm going to curl all of my hair. And I'm using a 19 millimeter curling iron here and I'm just going to go in layers. First spraying my hair with a little bit of heat protector to protect it from the curling iron and then just curling my way. And I am going to curl in alternating directions, so I'm going to take one section, curl it away from my face, then the next section I'm going to curl towards my face, and this is going to create more of that messy curl look, and it's going to prevent the curls from clumping together and forming these big kind of like 40s Hollywood waves, which we really don't want. So when all of my hair is curled, I'm going to allow it to cool down for just a couple of minutes, and then I'm going to run my fingers through and separate these as much as possible. I want as many little thin strands of curl as I can get. Um, again, one thing we really don't want is the curls clumping together and forming kind of big glamorous Hollywood waves. We're going for hashtag woke up like this. So I'm just going to keep running my hands through and separating these curls manually. And then something you can also do to help enhance this kind of 1910s look is to take some strands of hair on the top of the head and just kind of pull back on them. And that's going to create a little bit of frizz and a little bit more volume on the top. And uh, the bottoms are going to look a little bit more stringy. And that is very typical of your kind of like 1910s um, hair look. Okay, so last thing I did is I decided to add a little kind of um, head scarf wrap thingy. You can see many photos of her where she's wearing something on her head. I think it's again to kind of accentuate that uh, exoticness, but it was also just very fashionable back then to wear some type of headdress. So I just added this. Uh, be sure to wear it low on your head. And there is your Theta Barra look all done. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you have any requests for beauty beacons from history, any beautiful woman from history whose look you would like me to recreate, then be sure to leave your requests in the comments below and I will pick someone out for next time. If you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more. If you would like to support me on Patreon, I will have a link in the description box below. Thank you so much. I will have another video here that you may also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!